name is Erica Lugbill and I'm an interior designer working for Lugbill Designs in Chicago. Today I'm going to be covering how to install drapery panels and liners. This is a custom panel that I'm showing here so the liner is already built in. The only difference with a store-bought curtain is sometimes you need to buy the liner separately and install it on a double rod set so you're doing the same process just two times, once behind with the liner and once in front with the curtain itself. This panel here is pinch pleat. I'm going to take my drapery pins, put one on each end here, being careful that it doesn't poke through the front so the metal's not showing. And then I take one pin at each pleat and that's where it's going to actually hook onto the rings when we get to installing it. I've prepped the rod up here for our installation. We have five drapery pins, so we have five rings up here. I decided to do three on the outside of the bracket. That way the bracket is completely covered by the drapery panel and you won't see it when the installation's finished. So we simply hook these onto the pins up here. you adjust and then you can adjust the height of the panel by moving the drapery pins up or down once you install it. Thanks for watching my video today. I hope you found these tips helpful. <music>